Where's the remote? Found it. Turn off the lights. All right. Did you grab the drinks? Yeah, I got them. Okay, I'm making the popcorn. It's starting. Come on. All right, all right. Okay, I'm here. Hit the button. Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Gianna. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the We Watch, Watch It All podcast. podcast, where we watch it all and give you our opinions. AKA the opinions no one ever asked for. I got hair in my eye. Probably. What? Most importantly, our neighbors. They're probably sick of this. They probably are, but you know Too what? Too bad. You made noise last night. Tell, like, close to three in the morning, probably. No, you. it was four when you said it to me. Four? No, it wasn't. I was, was asleep four. at four. No, it was four. You did. You just asked me why is it ten thirty in the morning. I don't think you know what time it is. No, it was four because I looked. I specifically it's looked at my four? computer. It was four. It's four. I'm pretty sure it was four. It's four. Oh, okay. Are we gonna say it about how many more times? Uh, let's see. They're vibrating the apartment. No, that was two eighteen, two twenty. Yeah, they probably stopped at two thirty. At four, I said. I said, he's, he's starting to act out, screaming at the top of his lungs. I was referring to your cat. Oh, maybe that was that. That's, yeah, that's who I was referring to him. No, we were having a rave. I don't get people who listen to music with no lyrics. I don't get it. Sorry. Are you looking at my news? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. Here we go. How many newses do you have? I already told you five. I have six, but my, my one of them breaks down into like a couple little pieces. Mine are like one-liners. Stop doing it. I can't it. read. Yeah, you can. You're looking very diligently at mine. So now All right, I'm going to look at yours. No. Who wants to go first? Do you want to go first? Sure, I'll throw one out there. Okay, and Cooper's here too, if you can hear him. Part. Yeah. Sometimes you can hear him. He got louder all of a sudden. Because I started petting him. No. Oh. I started right, go, leaving go, the bellies of real Uh So Diana Jenkins from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Well, I don't know if she's coming back, to be honest with you. but Well, we'll save that for my news. Okay. Um, she is a couple weeks pregnant, apparently. Yeah, that's why she didn't go to the PCAs. Yeah, I just don't know what she's thinking. But oh. to each his own. Um, I just know that when you have babies later in life, they can present with, you know, health issues and things yeah. of that nature. So I just don't know why oh, you would... he gave me a kiss, Cooper. Oh, nice boy. See, get a cat. Look at how nice. Why oh, you ugh. And now and he's now slobbered he just on. All over and he, me. she wiped it back on his own head. That's so mean. Just put it on my shirt, please. Don't be mean. It's not like he doesn't use it to clean himself anyway. Anyway. All right. Oh, my next piece. Okay. Paramount is set to create the Mean Girls, the musical, the movie now. Because they did Mean Girls and then they did it on Broadway. So now that's going to be like a movie, basically. And, well, Tina Fey's going to have a hand in it. So it's not like, you know, not approved. Uh, what just happened? So what? My computer. Where'd it go? A Java update? Is that even a thing anymore? You're gonna. How do you think you say that name? Angori? Angori? Angori Rice. Uh, uh, best best known from the uh, senior year movie, who played the young Rebel Wilson in that movie. Mm-hmm. AKA she also was good. from uh, Spider Man. And then Renee Rapp will also be in it. Uh, Louis Carvajo, that's Moana. And then I don't know who this last person is either. Jesus. Jaquel Spivey? Yeah. Jaquiel Spivey? Jaquel? I'm not really sure. I wish I knew better. I don't know. <laughs> but I know the last name Spivey. All right. Well, yeah. So that's coming out to Paramount. I'm sure it'll probably end up being on Paramount+. Plus. I don't know if it's going to be in theaters or on Paramount+, Plus, but we'll see. Uh, so the Arrowverse creator, oh, Mark Gr- Guggenheim. Guggenheim? That's what I said, Mark Guggenheim. Okay. Wants to see the crisis on Infinity Earth crossover get a re-release as a full-blown movie just stop <laughs> it's not true no not you i'm <laughs> saying just stop don't do that it's gonna be like that'll be a waste of time he said that it money. came out like right around covid and he felt like it was just not given it to do properly so yeah he wanted to put all five of them together now, whether or not it's a full movie on the movie screen i it didn't really get there well, what it didn't sound matter? like that but they don't even have any other shows in production so you know he's not gonna give you a movie yeah. They're even ending the flash, so there's nothing left. Yeah. He's sleeping on my hand. Okay, well, that doesn't stop me right. from talking. The next, The Daddy Diaries, Even More Adventures from Andy Cohen Diaries, will be out May 9th. It's a book? Yeah, it's a book. Oh, Another he writes book. them. Yeah, he's, yeah. He writes them. He writes them a lot. He writes them. Just figured we'd share, you know, since it's always bravo, bravo, bravo here. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Break that fourth wall. There's a new show called The Traitors with Bravo Liberties. It premieres on January 12th with 18 contestants in a remote Scottish Highlands castle. 
to compete in a series of challenges with the objective of earning a cash prize. Three of the contestants will be called the traitors, and they will devise a plan to steal the prize from the others. So it's interesting. So I think the... That was my next piece of news, by the way, so... So I think, from what I could see, it looked like Kate Chastain from Below yeah, Deck. Yeah, I have, I have the list of the names um, here. Brandy. Brandy. And Kyle, Kyle Cook, Cook from Summer House. I think Reza. She, uh, Reza at Gigi. Who? Is it... Well, who else? Tell me. Ari Luding Kuvid Jr. Don't know who that is. Uh, Ryan. L- There's also people Ryan from Survivor. L- oh, okay. Bachelor, I think, Ron here. Cody, so it's Rachel it's, Ray. I don't know who any I don't know. Are. These are like people that we didn't know. I'll say like these were people that we were not. But then there's also going to be regular people. Like, you know, like people mm-hmm. like us on the show with I them. I don't know. We'll watch it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sure I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Alrighty. I like Kate Chastain. You'd like her. She. You think Brandy's bad? Woo! Ooh, she does what is a she, lot. What is she from? She's from Below Deck. She was oh. the chief stew, and she was with Captain Lee for years. Oh, also, all the ten episodes are going to be out on the twelfth, so you could watch it all in one. All right, so there's some rumors for the DCEU. Um, now, with what is my cat doing? Mm-hmm. Why is she trying to crawl under the bedroom door? I, I don't. She know. just saw me go in there. Why did she not go in when I went in? Sky, Sky, please, you're disappointing me. You're smarter so than this. But she's so she is cute, but she's cute. she's smarter than this. Um, so with obviously uh, Patrick, I don't remember his last name, and James Gunn setting to take over the DCU. There's changes coming. Biggest one is that they plan to close the Snyderverse chapter. So get rid of the who the Snyderverse chapter. That's like you know the Zack Snyder Justice League movie that we watched. Those guys, pretty much all the movies that we just watched. Any character that he's really touched, they want to get rid of him. That's isn't that it's like pretty Wonder much Wo- everybody? <laughs> well, no. there, here we go. Wonder Woman three is most likely not moving forward. That's gone. Uh, Jason Momoa will not reprise Aquaman after Aquaman two comes out. He's being eyed for a different character. I don't know if it's Lobo or Lobo. A Black Why? Adam That's two. Weird. A Black Adam two is most likely also a no. If anything, they give Hawkman from the movie a spinoff, and Man of Steel two. No, which here's what I think. I do kind of slightly agree that they should overhaul it and start fresh. There's good aspects and there's bad aspects to the DC movies. Not all of them are great. I don't personally love Ben Affleck as Batman. Um, I mean, I did like Jason Momoa as Aquaman, and there were, Harley Quinn is the one that I'm like. If they got to get rid of, they get rid of everybody. Don't get rid of her. I think Margot Robbie's so good, and Margot Robbie says that she wants to have Poison Ivy on screen. So. Obviously, I'm going to root for that. And I think James Gunn likes her as, you know what I mean? Like, he, I think he wouldn't mess with his people that he had in the Suicide Squad movie. As far as everybody else, uh, I think they're going to start fresh. Which they kind of need to. You know? I don't know. I don't like that idea. It's it's such a mess. No, it's not. It's not? No, you don't have to get rid of the, the actors. I'm saying, as far as, I don't know what a Wonder Woman 3 would have been. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Wonder Woman 1, you, you moved up, then with Wonder Woman 2, where is Wonder Woman 3 going to go? Also, you just don't have a Justice League. I think they, I think, well, they're supposed to be going to be making their presentation this upcoming week to the board or whatever. They need to come with a detailed plan of who they want to play who. At least they're like going to get fired. <laughs> they just exclusively bought him out from like every other movie studio. I'll give him away. Half price. Oh my god. This is too controversial at this point. Go. We're done. We have to move on because... Black Adam is available on HBO. <laughs> it's available on HBO December 16th. I meant to put that on my door. Go watch. Not. Because apparently there won't be a Black Adam 2. No. It didn't do good in the movie theaters. What? Stop it. What? I just told you the other day that I said they're projected to lose anywhere from 50 to $100 million in the box office. Oh, well. Anyway. Continue. Listen, there, I, like, I like The Rock. I wouldn't want them to get rid of that. I like Shazam. I wouldn't want them to get rid of that. Some of the Justice League can go. You're telling me you like Ben Affleck as Batman? I don't care about him either way. I'm not Batman. It's not my favorite. I do Jared like- Leto as, as Joker? Gone. That needs to go. G-O. I don't like him as Joker. Oh, but I like Superman. I liked him as Superman. I do. I agree with it. I like Ted McDonald's. I like Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Those, those were yeah. all good ones. They all were they good. They were good. I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah, but here's the thing. I think they need to, re- like, they could take the same actors, but they got to start with a new story. They don't have a plan. 
Do you know what I'm saying? They were well. It's not. You, oh, you can make movies were good. No, I'm not. You're not letting me finish. No, I can't. You see how Marvel has a trajectory? They're all leading up to something every se- like season phase. Well, they were this leading- is all new, new, new. I know, but that's what I'm saying. They have to come with that that plan. All the movies were standalone movies, which yes, is not a bad here's thing. The thing. That now you're, they'll just be said. That. What What are we doing over there? They're fighting. What are you doing? All right, I'm just gonna go to my next piece of news because we can't keep going. We could be. I could. I'll take you down in a fist fight all day. You're done with the news? <laughs> I've got nothing. All right. Um, I was, I was, well, okay, I was so, so pulling to, those so, out of my hat. <laughs> so to my to your first piece of news, um, it's pretty much probably next season for Beverly. Season? Season for Beverly Hills. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's going to be Rena, Erica, Kyle, Garcelle, and Sutton. Diana's gone. And Crystal and Dorit are undecided roles. Okay, wait, what? Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal and Dorit. Undecided of what they're going to be as of now. They don't know if they're coming back as friends, as full-on cast members, but the other ones are full-on coming back. Kathy Hilton maybe come back as a friend of. Cherie's probably gone as well, they said. Yeah, she needs to go. She didn't pull her weight. Now, I probably would have not mentioned this, but we did just talk about TLC last week. So Janelle Brown from the TLC show Sister Wives has not officially ended group. her marriage with Kobe Which one Brown. Was it? Janelle Brown. Wow, there's nobody left. <laughs> he ain't he ain't in no poly whatever they call it or Amorous. Like, um whatever because the first one she, she just she left him. Died. Did you say died? No, they're <laughs> getting divorced or, or leaving. The first one first one left, yeah. Um and then the s- I couldn't remember how many he had left. There was the, four of them, right? Janelle is the second one. So the third one is left. She'll never leave because she's in, she's just Ooh. so devoted. And the fourth one is the brown haired girl. So he only has two to my no, knowledge. No, I don't. I think he has less than two. Mm-mm. He had four. Oh, oh. No, but I think he, he had three blondes and the brown haired girl. <gasps> so who does he still have? He's got the brown haired and, and this, that one. And this one will never leave. She's just a fool. She'll never leave because <laughs> she just thinks he's so wonderful. I don't. What are you doing? Seventeen seasons. Sister. What the hell? They need that money. All right, are we ready? Sure, because it's only going to go down from here. Spin the wheel. Whore. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. Spin the wheel. I feel like I'm in utter chaos. Once again, I feel like I say this every week. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> you do that. What? <laughs> They're fighting. You're over here <laughs> I can't, don't start this because then I'm going to start wheezing. And then behind us is doing a tap dance recital on the wall. What the hell? Hey, Popter. I just want to see what's on the wheel of watching. Go ahead. She, she's going for that window. Uh-oh. Get, start getting up. Start getting up. She's going for the window. We'll be right back. I wish we had ads that we could play or something, but we don't. All right, so let's do the wheel of watching. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that I'm, like, tired and out of breath. Yeah, it's rough. All right, so we've we've taken the wheel of watching down to five options because I I just I'm he just put hair on his nose and now he's eating it. No, 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 get it off his face. Best TV show intro. I hope we don't get this one because I don't have an option. A movie I wonder why I watched. Their backs hurt from carrying this movie. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead. Your least favorite CW show. Mm-hmm. All of them. <laughs> favorite Disney Channel movie. Are we ready to spin that wheel? Spin the wheel of watching, 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 Poppy. I love when it works. I'm going to preface this with that I work two nights in a row. Are you serious? Look at the one it landed on. Best TV show intro, the one I said I don't have. All right, well, I could come up with one. What? I don't know what that is. What's like that? the theme music. Oh. See if you have one. If not, we can totally spin again. Yeah, I do. What? Actually, I actually have two. <laughs> well, okay, I can, I can name two. Two, Poppy. One for you, one for your sister. Yeah, yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay, well, and you. So I said um, Sex in the City and Gilmore Girls. Boop, 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 boop. Everybody knows that. Um, I would probably go with, there's so many good ones. I feel like sitcoms have <sighs> the best ones. Why is he sniffing her butt? He's up um, her back now, please. She, oh, she dropped her thing. She's going to beat the hell out of him. Can we please? Yes, please. This is my painful. My answer. Yes. My answer I'm going to probably go with Parks and Rec or Brooklyn Nine-Nine. They're just so... 
<laughs> Go ahead. Why'd you look at me? I'm not doing it now. No, I can't. Uh, Parks and Rec. Also, you know what's a good one? Uh, Grace and Frankie's pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna I say I love that good. one. Very I would good. not skip that intro. It's pretty long. Look at yeah. okay, he's sniffing her back in church. She's twitching. Um, there's so many good ones. Like, you know, I mean, I'm not even thinking about Disney Channel shows. No, Come on, Sunny with a Chance? Whoa. Yeah, that what a good, good one. one. Wizards? A really good one. There's so, there's just so many, like, Disney Channel shows always had a good intro. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like Disney Channel shows... Shake it up. Shake it up. That's a good one, too. I have a whole list on my phone, but should I, should I bust it no. up? No. No. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. You gave us plenty. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the new one, I didn't even think about this. The Girls Five Works, I said when I watched it, that's stuck in my head. What's that commercial that I, you say I sing to? The arthritis <laughs> commercial. Have you ever seen? It's the guy pushing his dad in the wheelchair, and it's got the arthritis cream. I saw it last night on Peacock, and I thought about you when we were watching separately. It's I was like, I was waiting for you. Honor. I, I was waiting for you to do the, uh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, po boy. Okay. Po boy? I said, oh, boy. Oh. Okay, so what? Let's hold hands. <laughs> this is so bad. Come on, pull us together, man. Here we go. So we're gonna let's. What? But what, what did you watch this week? I watched a new show back. Oh, our notes is, just disappeared. What is going on with these computers lately? That like. Well, mine's mine's from. Here we go. Mine's going on ten years old. I don't know what your excuse is. It was just my finger. It was a finger malfunction. All right, I'm gonna get some water uh, while you do that. Back in the groove. Call me cat. Selling OC. Firefly, Firefly Lane, Below Deck Season 10, and I'm not talking about everything, but so don't get panicked, but go ahead. You next. What did you watch? Oh, plus, you know, my obvious regulars, you know, Days of Our Lives. I watched Kung Fu Episode 8, because the CW app decided to finally start working. Abbott and Loot. The whole season of Loot. Somebody's got to use that Apple TV subscription. I can't log on to it on my phone, that's why. I have the app right on my phone. I have the app on my phone, but I have to log into it, and I don't know how to. This one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I just opened this app, and it just came right up. No, I don't believe mine does. I didn't even log in. Well, that's you. You're special. I don't think it does for me. Oh, maybe it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, wait, how many did you? Or how many are you talking about? Um, I'm, I'm going to talk about all of them, but no, but uh, no, it, sorry. I mean, how many do you have to talk about? Sorry. I don't Let know. me rephrase no, it. No, I'm going to talk about them all, but not. I know, but eight. how many did you just say? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. You aren't paying attention. No, sure, I did, but One, I heard you. Two, three, four, five. But as you can Excuse see. Excuse me. Oh, there's an animal. Anyone see any wild animals? That's what it says. No, I haven't. So you have five or six? Hello? Oh my gosh, it says assuming a fox, but our neighbor's two dog, large dogs got pretty hurt bad. Coyote. Maybe. We don't live in coyote country, though. Seems like it could be bigger than that. What could it be? A wildebeest? I mean, <laughs> what the hell? It's the cocaine bear. Oh my god, imagine. No right. least responded, so we'll wait and we'll keep you posted. No, we won't. Let's go. We sure will. Go All ahead. right, so you have five, five and I have three. So how do but we want to go? But I'm not really like... So are you going to condense? Yeah, two, Stu- of them all, two of them all condensed, don't worry. So then how many do you have? Four? So then, like, no, like three like you. Like three that right. I'm actually going to Who wants discuss. to go first? Rock, paper, scissors? I can't really do rock, paper, scissors. I have carpal tunnel, but sure. Rock, paper, scissors. What are you doing? <laughs> so you were you're going, you're going. Should we should? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Who rocks, paper, scissors like that? I don't know. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I cut your paper. Well, now you get to choose if you want to go first or I'll second. I'll go first. So I decided to throw a wrench in her day, and I started watching <laughs> Back in the Groove, and she said, it's on your list. And I said... Too bad. Screw your damn list. I don't even care I, anymore. No, I had a rough day. I need something frivolous to watch. So she told me about this anyway. So I know it's my fault at the I'm end of the day. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue watching it. I'll see. But it is basically, it's on HBO. It's a new dating show. It's not on HBO. I mean, I'm sorry. Wait, it's on <laughs> Hulu. It's on Hulu. And there's three singles that are in their 40s, women. And they're coming to the Groove Hotel in the Dominican Republic to get their groove back. I it don't sounds like that think. show on HBO that you watch where they set up their parents, the kids. Kind of. Like, this is based off the movie How Stella Got Her Groove Back. Oh. So she was obviously an older woman, and she met a younger guy, and that's the premise of this. So the host is Tay Diggs, who played the younger guy in the movie. He's hosting this dating show. The three ladies' names are Sparkle, Brooke, and Steph. And they're all in their prime, and they'll be matched with 24 younger men. There's a concierge. <laughs> they even have a concierge named Pedro, 
that will uh, make all of their wishes come true. And I, I'm curious to see what that means because Tay Diggs kept, like, he was real emphatic about it. He's like, honestly, they'll do what, he'll make whatever you ask come true. And I'm like, buy me a jet? I mean, I don't know. Like, what are we talking? <laughs> like, what's the I don't know. It was just here? very weird the way he said it. It was very odd. Um, he could be the 25th man, maybe. Yeah. Imagine. I don't know. They're having a dan- <laughs> they're having a dance party the first night, and they're going to decide who stays and who goes. So the women go to check out where they're going to stay, and it's it's funny because it's this was the only reason I included it because I love when they do these kind of camera things like where they show the women sitting there talking. They're like, you know, younger guys they're not every they're not for everybody. But I've tried the older guys and it doesn't always work. So I think I'm going to try something different. And you see them so calm and they're like, you know, hopefully all the guys are respectful, but you know. They say younger guys are not, um, they don't know how to be mature and they don't have nothing going for them. And then all you see is the younger guys going into their hotel to like check out where they're going to stay. Mm-hmm. And they're just like running on muck. It's like mayhem. Oh, like housewife cuts. Yeah. And then you have the other, the other woman is like saying something nice and like calming and all like, you know, I just want to see if I'll find my true love here. And then you have them like going, I found peanut butter. You scared the cat. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. But it was peanut like, butter? yeah, like, yeah, yeah, peanut butter. It was literally peanut butter. And like the other woman's, it's just the cut was like, what the hell are they doing here? Like, I was like intrigued a little bit, but yeah. So the contrast was quite funny. It's weird watching though, these older ladies mingle with these younger guys because how much older are they? They're 40 and the guys are 20. So it's easily oh. 20 years on them. Some of them. So that could be their child. Well, yeah. And it's, it's just weird because you can see the age difference. Like the one lady. Well, yeah, I mean, even when you think about it, you think about you housewives. The ladies are like maybe a ten year difference between them, and they already don't get along. Well, and that's just friendship. But it's just funny because it's like a mom trying to get along with her kids. Yeah, friend. Like it's just weird. It, yeah. I, so I don't know if I think it's as good as maybe they just didn't pick the right girl, the women. Maybe I don't know. There's one lady that I'm not a fan of, so I don't know. It's, it's, uh, yeah. I did one, I did one episode. I might throw, try another one just to see if it gets better. But at the end of the episode, they had to pick so many guys to be allowed to stay. So I think they were getting rid of four or five. It was something like that, that weren't going to get picked. Like each woman got to pick somebody. And you, the only thing is that you have to collaborate with the other women. It's kind of like that other show that I watched, the F boy Island where. Yeah. Oh, I th- heard that got canceled. Yeah, I'm sure. It was funny while it lasted. We're getting rid of HBO. What does it matter? I know. It was kind of stupid, though. But it was funny. Because <laughs> it was just so stupid. It was funny. It was one of those things. But it was like where the three girls had to make sure that if they did like somebody, they tried to make sure the other girl didn't vote them off or something. So. Oh, yeah. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Kung Fu Season 3, Episode 8. Technically, I should have done this last week. Can I just say one thing? So, you put that on when I was trying to fall asleep. Oh. I did, yeah. No, no, it's not about that. I so I kind of, while I was... Oh, yeah, you kind of did see I, it. I, I was putzing around. Did you have kung fu dreams? No. Oh. I had. <laughs> I just think to myself, you told me I should watch it because I probably would like it. Yeah. I was never so confused in the small five because minutes. Because you're three seasons behind. So much has happened <laughs> in this show, Mike. But, I mean... You can't just jump in. No. So, viewers, you can't just jump in. I'm going to be honest with you. It was... Mm-mm-mm. Also, this was the mid-season finale, so yeah, they were well, wrapping things I, up. I don't... <sighs> this show wasn't coming back to February. 8th. I couldn't give you an inkling and iota of what was yeah. going on in that well, show. Well, they finally basically put the pieces together about Bo, where last week I said... Well, yeah, that's the only thing I knew. Was some, kid, some kid went into Bo. another area. That's Jed from Legacies, but you're like, I don't even remember him. That's who that was. Um, and we kind of get flashbacks to see how Bo became who he is now and, you know... And it's just really, they're figuring out that trying to, trying to stop him from releasing Zhao into the world. And it pretty much just ends with her beating the crap out of Bo, Nikki. Like, and then that's it. So now I have to wait till February 8th. I mean, you're, uh, the second half of the season weirdly looks like it doesn't even, it's not going to revolve around that. Because they, ha- listen, CW makes the worst previews ever. They're like five seconds, and they're like flashes of crap that don't build into a story at all. I don't know why this is, but it is. It was like 30 seconds, the trailer I saw on YouTube, 
And it pretty much looks like Nikki is going to be struggling to control her emotions now because she kind of went a little kooky at the end. So now it's like she's got to rein it back in. And these people are on the hunt for her now. Rein it in, girl. And that's really what it looks like. And they also had a great little ad of Orbit gum. The mother. Was oh, you t- said that. I heard you say something about. Well, wow, was, what about that product? It, it, I'm like, what is it's she like talking a dark, about? It's got the dark brown table, and there's like papers, and they were like old papers. It looked like, and they just had the bright blue Orbit gum pack on the table. And the mom, the way she picked it up, you know, make sure she showed the logo, opened it, and put the little. I've never seen this do. woman eat gum in my life. Gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta and why would she be eating gum right now? She was testing out to see which dumplings were gonna be the best. Why would she mess with her palate? Because she wanted to make sure she had fresh breath for the dumplings. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It was just, it was cheeky weird. It's Gotta not pay as for bad that as that food. Riverdale ad. Have you ever seen that one? I think it's the Chime Riverdale ad. They were like, they. I, they I've i seen it on, on like uh, Instagram or something. They're like, how are you going to pay? And he's like, I'm going to pay with my Chime credit card. And he holds it up perfect. Those Riverdale Never cast, seen that ever. The Riverdale cast does not care. It's so funny. I follow them. I don't even watch the show. But I follow the actresses on TikTok because they're hilarious, those girls. I kind of want to watch Riverdale sometimes. It's because it's crazy. I know. It's just so crazy it that crazy it's, it I want to see. Like, you know, like, towards the end, Pretty Little Liars. I would Liars, just rewatch it just for Luke Perry. Pretty Little Liars. You know how they got crazy at the end? And it made no sense towards the end, Pretty Little Liars. Yeah. But it was like, you're with it. You got to stick with it. I think that's what happened with beginning Riverdale. But now it's like, I need to know. Yes, I just I got I'm normal. I'm seeing that one girl I can't remember the red hair they turned her into like a a, a low grade Scarlet Witch or something. Yeah. I, it's so look at her looking back at him sleeping on, on her tush. It was kind of sweet. It sissy. was kind of endearing looking. Um yeah maybe you know what I have a big break coming up until January. Maybe I'll watch Riverdale. Whoa. That would be kind of kooky. All right so you can go. Are you gonna do two shows or one show? No this is just one. Okay. Call me cat uh, episode nine. So. It, wow, it was the Christmas episode already. Yeah, my well, I'm, my app it I'm going to talk about is my Christmas episode too I because guess. they don't air during Christmas time, so they have to do it ahead I of guess. time. I bet yours <laughs> is going on break as well to January. Could be. Um, it was the Chris... Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. Mommy, what are you doing? Is your butt numb? Could be. He's got a big head. She's also a little high. She has catnip in front of her, so she could be a little seeing two of them. I need you to pay attention, please. Okay. Listen, Sissy. So this was, um, Kat was having the Chris Muckia Hanukkah. It's like Christmas and Hanukkah together. Chris, Chris Hanukkah. Chris, Chris Hanukkah. Mon- no, Hanuk- Chris Monica. Hanuk- Chris Monica. I don't Chris know. Monica. They didn't say it in the damn they show. They did. I can't say it now, but she combines <laughs> Christmas and Hanukkah together. Uh, the weirdest part was that Leslie Jordan was not in this one and his character was not spoken of, not mentioned nothing they didn't address it at all it was really weird and really creepy and i didn't realize he wasn't in it until towards the end that i'm like wait a minute where the hell is he yeah and it's not an episode that wouldn't be he would be there for this episode because one of the main characters um two characters got engaged and yeah it's like he he palled around with her so it's like the fact that like the only he thing wasn't there was, was just that they just didn't have enough time to yeah, but rewrite could, it. Yeah, and but you could have just it. slipped anything in there saying, like... He went to the family house or something. Yeah, or, like, like he went that home. That would have cause... been a good one, too, because if you said he went to go home and see his mother, it makes yeah. sense why the mother's coming. But maybe they just didn't know what they were going to do yet because it happened so quickly. they could just quickly. say he was away. He could just, yeah. They could just say he went away with the boyfriend that, that they created. I don't, know, I don't know. I was just, like, really surprised yeah. that they didn't address it in mm-hmm. any way, shape, or... I don't know. It was weird. That but, is interesting. Yeah. So, there you go. Alrighty. Abbott, episode 10, this is huge episode, huge episode, especially for us out there who ships Janine and Gregory. I'm not going to spoil it, but make sure you watch all the way to the end. Did they get was... engaged like my couple? They're not even dating yet. Oh, maybe they was... dated. Did they hold hands? No, almost. <laughs> oh, they didn't even hold hands. Okay. <laughs> uh, majority of the episode actually takes place out of the school, which I think is always fun and exciting when it's like the workplace when they leave the, yeah. you know, wherever it is, the precinct, the government building, the school. The government the building? I'm talking Parks and Rec. <laughs> That's what I'm referring to, government building. See, she rolled her eyes. Well, uh, school is technically, a, it's a public building. Well, yeah, so. I know. Uh, so Janine ends up going out to the club with her friend, you know, because now she's single. She ends up running into Gregory at the same club. And... Also, while they're waiting in line, they see Ava. Watch the end for that, too, because she reveals that she has a boyfriend. Never going to guess who it is. And then 
obviously they hang out together Janine and Gregory at the club and once they leave they almost kiss I spoiled it sorry <sighs> I couldn't they almost did and then Gregory's girlfriend called him and he left oh boy I don't promote cheating but and then uh, Melissa and Barbara they are gonna host their annual little Christmas dinner that they do after school and they invite Jacob to join but he ends up kind of ruining it for them and then he makes up for it Oh. And it was just it was just a nice little Christmas It wasn't like one. very Christmas y. It was no. you know it was just kind of like it was more like getting to see them. Christmas a- Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just came back to me. Christmas. Christmas Christmaca. Christmaca. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. Um they, this was I more make of like sure a winter you got that break. Information. Like episode. Like seeing like I guess teachers on their off time. Yeah. yeah. That's always interesting. But like they're not back. like a you know. They're not back till January 4th because this was also the mid-season finale. How horrible. So, okay. <sighs> I watched two other shows. Well, I attempted. So, I started watching Selling the OC, thinking it was closer to buying Beverly Hills than Selling Sunset. I was wrong. So, the OC version is the Oppenheimer group. Oop. It's the Oppenheimer group, regardless. The twin brothers, they open now another site in OC. And it's got a bunch of young people. Um, that are like make it's just like you, f- you can feel them creating drama that's not there, not necessary. Yeah, and, and it's just true. yeah, it's like ah. So I wanted to see more of the selling of the expensive houses and stuff like that, and it was more drama heavy, and it spent a lot of time on these like oh this one's that one. I was just like mm, I don't think I'm gonna go back. Gotta be honest. Wow. I don't think I'm going back. Just and look up YouTube tours of. Fancy house uh, no Yeah, I just don't think I'm going back. I'll wait for Be- buying Beverly Hills because I know there's a season two because... I'm sorry, I just got a immense pain in my left thigh. Keep going, I'm good. Oh, okay. I'm fine, I'm fine. Medic. Yeah, so I'd rather wait for that. And I also have been waiting for a long time for this Netflix show, Firefly Yeah, Lane. you talked about that last week. Well, here's the thing. Oh, heavens. I decided to bust out and start watching it. <gasps> I ain't got a freaking clue what's going on. <laughs> Did you no, miss listen. an episode? No, no. You went no, back no, no. and you made sure you no. watched all the season no. one? I, no, I absolutely did. Here's the thing with this show. So it's about two, two friends that met when they were younger. And they kind of, they talk, they, it's in present day. But to explain a lot of what's going on in present day, they constantly are flashing back and forth. Yeah, so like there's two timelines. Basically. Yeah, and well, sometimes there's more than two timelines because what they'll do is they'll flash back to childhood then they'll flash back somewhere between childhood and present day to show something that happened. Like a teen year. No, 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 not like teen oh, year. Just like, wherever. Like just a little bit in the past. Yeah. And so it's like you really got to f- stay focused. So. Not a phone kind of show. Well, it's not so much that. You can watch it on the phone. You just got to watch it. So I'm watching this and I'm like, I don't remember why she's mad at her or why she's at the funeral. And I'm like, and the preview did not show anything like. So I'm like, you know what? I can't do this. I, I feel well I feel like I'd be doing it a disservice so I said you know what I'm gonna go back and I think I'm gonna rewatch season one it's not that many episodes yeah. and then I'll watch season two I think it's one of those it's been off for so long because of COVID yeah. that I think it, it to do it properly I feel like because it's really a good show it's what's her name um, this is horrible she was in 21 dresses and Grey's Anatomy I know Sarah Cl- Chalk is in it She's from Roseanne. She was the replacement for Roseanne. But I can't remember the other girl's name. Catherine Heigl. Catherine Heigl. I mean, she's very well known. Um, but there's, there, it's a really good show. And, like, the Look, premise of it wait, is really good. Wait, I just good. Googled the show to find the name. Look at the questions. What happens at the end of Firefly this Lane? This is what I'm saying. Because... What is the point of Firefly Lane? Because it's like you can't figure <laughs> out what's... I mean, you know it's a story about these two girls together. But it's so... It's so hard to, like, because he, the, the one girl is mad at her, at Captain Heigl's character. And it's just, I'm like, did I miss something? I don't think I missed something. I feel like I remember it ending weird, but I don't know. But So I said, I think I just need to go back and watch it again because it has been such a long time. So pause on that one, zip on the other one, and here we go. Not a lot of wins for you. Oh, I got to look at my list, but go ahead. So, I watched Loot, which is on Apple TV. Mm-hmm. I know there's already going to be a second season. I'm going to be honest, I probably wouldn't have gone out of my way to get Apple TV for this, and I probably still wouldn't have gone. I don't know. Like, if there's a second season, 
maybe I'll check it out, but I don't really know. It's not that I feel like this show should have been a limited series, and I feel like they kind of dragged the story out when they could have made it shorter and more cohesive. I truly watch this only because I like Maya Rudolph, so that's the real reason I was like, I'm gonna watch it because what was she doing in it? Was she she's stealing? the star? No, I know. Oh, but... what is okay? I'm gonna explain oh. what it is. Um, so the show follows Maya Rudolph's char- character Molly Novak after finding out that her husband John has cheated on her with a younger girl. And she's kind of now going to try to figure out what her life is like after this. Because they didn't have a prenup and they're basically billionaires. If you want to see a fancy house, watch the show. They have like a whole candy room. It's just, it, this house mm. is so extravagant. I would have a candy room. All vegan candy. It, I mean, it's it, it was something. So since they had no prenup, she's now worth $87 billion. So now she doesn't like really have anything to do. So she basically kind of goes out, parties, and one of the foundations that is in her and her husband's name calls her and says you have to know that your consequence con- your actions affect us this foundation yeah. and helping people and she ends up saying okay you know i'm sorry da, 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 i'll try to be better and she kind of the main premise is that she's gonna like help them with these this foundation because she has all this money that she does not need there's no way she can truly spend 87 billion dollars on her own you know yeah. which is true you i'd can't, give it a go I mean, really. So, the moral is like seeing how she can spend this money. And that's what season two looks like it's going to be, is how she's going to use this $87 billion, which I think she ends up saying at the end of the show, because of how rich she is and how much they have going for them, that by the end, I think she's worth now like $100 billion. So, she's making like $20 million like every minute, essentially. So, she's going to try and cash that all out. That's what I think season two is going to be about. But I just feel like could have been more... Um, the other characters, though, she has an assistant, Nicholas, and then Howard, her cousin, works at the foundation. I'm 99.9% sure that the actor who plays Howard is the, also the actor who does the voice for King Shark on the Harley Quinn series. It sounded too much alike, and I kind of, I was like, you know what? Yeah. I, what, think I would never be able to pick out that voice. It, no, he has, he has, like, a very distinct voice. And then there is Sophia, who's the director of the foundation, who's kind of like, it's also kind of like her trying to fit in and work with these people who, you know, are not alike from her, who do not have $87 million to live off of, is kind of what it is. Wow, what I, I would do. <laughs> um, and then I'll, I will say- I think the driver first. Oh, she has a whole, oh my god, one episode, she has a whole staff where she's like, well, you know, she's t- typically spent every day in the house, but she's like, now I'm going to go work at the foundation. So they just, she was like, you guys can do whatever you want now that I'm gone. Just, I'll just be back home at six. So they ended up, it, like, cuts and they're all, like, in her house, like, having a pool party or stuff, basically. Because mm. they're like, I don't know what to do. Like, the house is clean. What do we do? Well, now you're going to make it dirty again. Well they, well, they went in the pool. She had two pools. I mean, nice. it was just insane, the amount nice, of money. Nice. Clearly, Apple TV budget. It must be huge. I don't know. I tried to look it up. I could not find anything. Well, it is Apple. I mean. No, that's what I'm saying. So I'm not surprised that it was good quality because they do have a lot of money to spend. I will say it kind of reminds me of American Auto, like a higher budget American Auto because it has that similar like out of touch. She's not, I don't think she's the CEO of the foundation, but you know, she's the founder, yeah. founder CEO of this company. It's also kind of got that thing where it's like she's trying to do better, but that one better is actually making the whole situation worse. Like uh-huh. I was saying about American Auto. So I think if you have Apple TV and you've watched American Auto, check this out. I like that one. Yeah. And if you've watched Loot, I recommend American Auto. They both have second seasons coming. And I'll just say this, Peacock is... Oh, somebody screwed me. Peacock is much cheaper than... Oh my God. Ooh, that was a great... That was one from the toes. (laughs) Then Apple girl. I do picture that kid getting up on her tippy toes, screaming. She's... Oh, she just threw something at the wall. She's about like this big. Yay big. She's tiny. Two feet tall. I've seen her, yeah. She's, oh, she's tiny. She's cute, cute as a button. We've seen her now in, in full, full. She, no, she's adorable. But brothers, she's a, brothers as cute as a button, too. But they are. They make cute kids. Devils. With big lungs. Oh, I I heard the mother last night, and they're just going, she did it, so it's clearly a genetic thing. We, you, we met Grandma, but we didn't see her scream, so we got to see. No, but Grandma's weird. So she probably does, too. A little eccentric. Anyhow. A little bit like Lydia's mom. Yeah, no, Fairy Lydia's, dust. she's funner. Anyway. Wait, so, okay. My turn let or me, your turn? Let me oh, finish. finish, go. So, moral story, I like Sorry, it. Sorry, got cut off by, you know, screaming. Yeah, screaming demon. off. Moral story, I enjoyed it. I don't, like, I don't know. I, I really, you know, it was just, it, thank you, Selena Gomez, for the two months break. That's all I'll say. There you go. 
Yeah. Try something different. Did you watch the Good Morning Show or something? The, the Morning, morning show? show? Well, you'll have to wait and see what I'm going to be watching this upcoming uh, week to find out. Yeah, I need to watch that too because I love me Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. I heard they were both phenomenal, so. I think they have awards for that show. Yeah, I think so. I don't All right. Know, I don't know if they won it. But... Now you can um, take it away. So I did uh, Below Deck Season 10, uh, the original, and I'm going to put the Below Deck Adventure on hold. Just because it's too much of the same thing. I feel yeah, like, that is true. I feel like I'm watching the same thing, so I'd rather... When, Save it when this goes on. Well, yeah, like, so I have one when That's this is That's a good idea. Off. Instead of watching them sa- at the same time. Um, but That's this one, idea. I watched episode two and three because I missed last week I'm by not gonna accident. I'm I don't hear anybody talking about this below deck adventure, so it's not like, you know, like you're like missing out it's on okay, the conversation. It's okay, but I mean, this, this is the, the original, so. Here's the thing. Someone, people will always gravitate to this one because it's Captain Lee. <laughs> everybody loves Captain Lee. However, Captain Lee is potentially threatening... To leave because he has nerve damage on his back. Oh yes, that, I did hear. Yes, yeah, he's in rough shape. So they are in Saint Lucia. That's where they are um, perusing around in the yacht. Uh, it's a very big yacht. Captain Lee's back. Does like he I switch said. boats every time? Sometimes. Sometimes they have the same one, but this is a new one and it's huge. Like when they have to go from the kitchen to the dining area, they're like three levels up. And then her. Yeah. The poor chef, anything in the refriger- that's refrigerated, she has to go down a bunch of stairs to get it. So it's very inconvenient. But it is a nice big boat. So Captain Lee obviously returned. Rachel was a previous chef. She is badass and crazy uh, and really a good chef. Uh, she re- is returning as the chef. Frazier, who was another nutcase, he was a stew last season, but he's going to be the chief stew, which is perfect. Um, and he's like a bit of a perfectionist. So on season two episode, the guests on this episode was Ping Lim, and he was an in-demand tax professional, and he was coming with his friends, and they wanted to have a birthday surprise where pretty much everything had his face on it. And they wanted a rave party and a Playboy Mansion party with a stripper, and the friends um, wanted someone to jump out of one of those large cakes for them. How the hell did they get that on that boat? Oh, they did. They brought it on the boat. It came on a Tinder, like one of the little boats. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's weird. Like, you'll see them. If they run out of liquor and stuff, like, they will call up, like, a service that will bring stuff out to the boat. No, I know, but I'm still, I just can't imagine. Well, it was cardboard. It was cardboard. Uh First of all, the cake was cardboard. It was cardboard. It was like one of those, yeah. I don't know. I thought maybe there was some real cake on it. No, no, no. It was cardboard. They pulled all this off, but... The show is very crazy, and it had the deckhands. Do, they'll, they'll ask them to do almost anything. So who do you think the strippers were? It was the deckhands. Oh. Yeah. So well, you, How are you going to get a stripper on the boat and have them sleep overnight? You're not. Well, no. They come on, and then they go off. Because they haven't... They Here bring comes inter- the stripper on the little boat. Well, Here she they, comes. They, come, they usually come on the back when they're, like, on the front eating. But they usually... They always bring people, like, mariachi singers and stuff. Like, they'll bring they them on. They just sneak them up, up on a little boat? Yeah, they just bring them on and off. It's like, boom, boom, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, episode three. This is... Uh, the guest is called... Her name is Michelle Pearl. And she is a doctor in Seattle. An ER doctor in Seattle. And um, she's coming with a bunch of her girlfriends. And the they want a beach party. A beach picnic party. And a black and gold mountain range. I'm sorry. <laughs> it says Moulin Rouge. Rouge. Where did I say Moulin Rouge? <laughs> I don't think that? you disassociated. I you know it might just, have been something else. I just think I, my eyes were going. You know what? It does kind of look like mountain range. I, I have a little it. double vision going on. So She's a got her new and, glasses on too. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I, and, apparently did not help. No, what the hell? Are you sure? Listen, I know you went to no. Vision Works, and I know they give the wrong prescription now. <laughs> no, they're good. I, no, no. They're good. No, they're really Your glasses are good or Vision Works is good? Because no, Vision Works no, is no. not good. Vision Works is not good. My because glasses are okay. Because let me tell you okay. a quick side. T- I'm going to just sidetrack. <laughs> I went to Vision Works, and somehow I knew my vision was worse because it's been a few years. But they said it got better. They I got, never, They said one eye got better, and the other one was exactly the same one. I've never one. heard of your vision getting better on its own, but hey, miracles happen. On the happen. same tote, the guy said, your eyeballs are really squeezed into your head. Remember he said I got big tennis ball size eyes oh, yeah. in my head. They were too oh. big for my head. What does oh. that even mean? This guy looked like it was his first day on the job. He looked like Look, he could have walked had... in and put a lab coat on and just tested me. No, like the guy that I had looked like the same way, but that's just... Really? Way, yeah, well, the and then we had to go back and beg for them to retest my eyes. They did it for free, though. It was a nice lady. Yeah. Sorry. Well, Sidetrack. Check so, out our We Talk About It All podcast. So, um, <laughs> we're not talking about that right now, but we no, will. No, we won't. So, they want a, let's try it again, a, bl- a black beach and 
picnic. Oh, we're going all the way back. Black and gold Moulin Rouge dance party. So it was very interesting. This was a nice little group um, of women. Uh, it's not over yet because sometimes they'll end the episode in the middle when the guests are still there. Well, yeah, if I guess you have a longer charter. Yeah, than and some. then they'll pick it up. You know, the next ship is ship. Ugh. The next episode in like the middle. Yeah, so maybe then, that's where they're gonna have the mountain rage party. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a Imagine bunch of, they did. Bunch of lies, lies, lies. All right. So what are we watching this week? You had to go. Stop bust trying out to look of, at my paper. I can't read your handwriting. You know this. <laughs> Just say your list. Oh, you don't want to go first? I always go first. I'll go first. I'll let you go first. Go okay, on. yeah, I'll go first, and then I'll transition into your stuff. Okay. No, I'm saying that we can transition to what we're watching together. In yeah, tears. sure. All right, so, uh, well, I'm not watching Kung Fu, episode 10, not until February 8th. Mm. Uh, Abbott's not back till January 4th. So she wrote all the stuff she's not watching. Well, I've just left in there, so I don't forget. Okay. Uh, I'm going to watch the morning show this week. And oh. the issue is... How many seasons are there? Two. But the episodes are like 50 minutes long, so Ooh, it's going to take toughers. all week. Ooh, it's like manifest. Yeah, so it's going to be a little long, so that's why I don't have anything else. If anything, I might throw a movie in. Oh. I'm thinking about Aubrey Plaza's movie. Uh, it just came out on Netflix, so maybe I'll watch that. Hmm. I don't know, though. Interesting. If So all you're offering us is one show? It's long, but okay. I'm hoping I can... Don't overcommit. I've learned overcommitting doesn't work. Yeah. Plus, we have Housewife catch-up that we've been doing. So. Yeah, So, but if we get ahead of the Housewives, that gives me more time to watch during mm-hmm. the day. Can but there's something? other you know stuff um, for us watching together this week. Uh, we're going to be watching season 11 and 12 of The O.C. Uh-huh. And those episodes will be out this weekend. Yep. And on Friday, we're going to be boop. doing the Santa Claus stuff. We are going to talk Claus about the three trilogy. movies. And then the new show to see how it lines up with the movies. Oh, it definitely will. They're, they're big on that lining up, I believe. I I'm feel. saying, like, is it going to be as good as the movies? I think it's going to be. I do. I'm okay. anticipating. I haven't heard anybody talk about this movie. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. The show is shocking. Like, I haven't hmm. really heard much about it. Um, and then also, our bonus for this month, we are going to do the We Watch It All Awards. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to come up. We, we're going to make categories. Mm-hmm. And then we will pick the winners. And present them with nothing but a good time. You and should a, be honored a, that we talked about you. And a hey. Okay. And that's it. My turn? Yeah, I'm moving and grooving. <laughs> so I'm going to give... Um, back in the groove one more chance i'm gonna try to watch the next are they one. all out now there is i wrote this down hold on oh maybe i didn't i thought i wrote it down huh I th- oh no that was something else i believe it's all out okay i think it is all out if it's not it's half of it but i think i'm thinking of something else i got a big agenda on my plate this week i don't know how i think i'm gonna accomplish it but we'll see you've seen the housewife's watch schedule haven't you oh my necklace yes call me cat Episode 10, if there is one. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. It's probably on break. I hate to be at WWE. Yeah, Jones, that's fine, because I'm gonna Lord knows I'm, I'm packing too much here. It's only 21 minutes, so it's the shortest probably you watch. I'm <laughs> still packing too much. All right, let's see. Uh, also, I might try to hit up the reboot, because it's only eight episodes, and I, oh, well, I keep forgetting about that I want to see it. That's on my pilot versus pilot. Oh. So what does that have to do with my... Oh, Okay. Anyway, maybe I won't then. Um, I'll just skip that because I already have yeah, a lot. Let's just say January, I have a big plan of things coming up. Okay. So you may say one thing right now, but January. She'll change it. No, I'm, no, January, I was telling you about my plan for the pilots that I'm going to do. So okay. 35 shows. <laughs> okay. It's going to be of interest. So there is two documentaries that I really want to see. Actually, there's three, but um, these two I really want to see. Uh, Janet Jackson's documentary on Hulu. And Megan and Harry on Netflix. Oh, I heard about that. Harry. Uh, I also want to see the one. I can't remember what it's called now. Darn it! It's about the cruise. Um, for, about when COVID hit the cruise ships. It's I believe it's also on Hulu, or Peacock. No Peacock. I want to see that. It's probably on Peacock. Peacock loves like not yeah. true crime, but no, I want to see that. that. Kind of stuff. Um, it just looked interesting, like how they handled it and, and the whole thing. But uh, that's not really. It's like a. If we got nothing else, we'll throw it in. But clearly, we see. Else. Yeah, I know. Also, oh, um, <laughs> if we got nothing else, here we, also, also, I said one damn show, and no, she's but, got like hundred. No, because here's my problem. So, uh, Janet Jackson and Megan are out now, and uh, back in the groove is out now. However, the two that I want to watch don't come out till the fourteenth. So that's Wednesday, right? I think Wednesday. Yeah. So I have time to do these. Wait, your birthday's this week? Yeah, Friday. Wow. 
So say happy birthday now or else. Okay, no, we don't need to do that. <laughs> there's no need. There's no need. Um, She's turning twenty three. Just flip the age backwards, you fool. Oh, sorry, 23? Did, did I say that right? 25. No, 35. 35. She's I'll take 35. 35. Man, I would take 35 in a heartbeat. And I still technically could be your mother because I could have had you when I was what? What, what age did you have? No, 12. What? It happens. <laughs> it happens out there in the world. No, what age did you give birth to me? 30. So, wow, so I'm five years old. I get to go back to being five. You would in a minute. Don't you kid yourself. No school yet still. Or just about to start school. Yeah, he'd probably... Well, I'd be four. Or you might be in kindergarten, yeah. Anyway, this is not even anything we're supposed to be talking about. Stop it. (laughs) So anyway, uh, so back in the groove, Janet Jackson, Megan and Harry, if there's a Call Me Cat, I don't think there is, like you said, the National Treasure Edge of History, uh, which starts on the 14th. Uh, Well, it is on the 14th. Is it a movie or a show? No, I believe it's... I believe it's just a movie. Okay. And then Too Hot to Handle is also on the 14th. They're right Wait, now. no, that's already out. No, I'm sorry. Well, no, what I'm saying is, though, right now they have one through five. Oh. The and that's on Netflix. And then the rest come out on the 14th. So I can either start the f- f- one through five now, and then on the 14th hit the rest of them. That's a good idea. Or just do the five, and then next for the next Remember week. I'm going to see how it is. Remember she said last week she has no time at her job to watch? When is she going to watch all these? Yeah, it's even worse. I know. You have no... What the hell are you going to... She has no... T- I don't know. I'm going to budget she, my I'm time. I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night and I'm going to I'm gonna see her watching something probably. I don't doubt that. I got to... And I got to fit all my my vlog misses in. I know. We're, we <sighs> are 13 behind on just one person <sighs> and another 12. I have on three that I know I want to watch. So... Vlog misses? Yes. Tara, Brooke, and, and her friend Danielle. I like all three of those. We just gotta and there's study. another one that I know, the one that draws, I want to watch hers, and the one that writes, I want to watch hers. Too much. It's too wow. much. In the words of Shannon Madore, it's too much. It's too much. <sighs> Keep eating, you pig. <laughs> Who? You. Who? You. Okay, no, this is, uh, this is wrong. Stop it now. Pull it back. <laughs> I'm going to make coffee. So Can you say tell what we haven't really say? slept in a while? Yeah. Like, or had a good night's sleep? I worked overnight, and she chose not to sleep because I wasn't here. So I figured, you know what? Those are prime housewife hours. Did you see the text you wrote, though? Did you see what I say? <laughs> yeah, I did. And Angie's like, "Yeah, he's got it. She's, he's got the keys to the he car, was, probably anyway." Yeah, I did. I texted him the night before too, and he responded to both of them. And he was like, right away, he responded to both of them, and I was like, "Oh, okay." I gotta get. I gotta find him a Christmas gift too. Okay. So thank you so much for listening or watching. Make sure you give us a rating. Hopefully you'll give us a five in the holiday spirit. Ooh, and subscribe five. and follow and turn on the notifications because what if we put out a secret bonus episode? You don't want to miss that. It, Hello. Could, it could happen. I heard <gasps> 14 to- comments on the animal. I know you want to know. <laughs> and if you're on YouTube, make sure you give us a thumbs down. Don't. <laughs> you hear what I just said? <laughs> give us a thumbs down. Oh, oh no. Oh, this no. is so bad. Sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Don't Any chance the dogs send us to a fight with each other? Maybe. Maybe. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Don't give us a thumbs down. Instead, leave a comment telling us how we can improve. And I think that is that is all. So thank you so much for listening and watching. He said that uh, her dog and the neighbor's dogs were barking excessively a few hours ago, which is unusual. So perhaps there was a dog fight or something. All right. Well, we'll be here next. We'll be there. There has been a neighbor. Twelve says there's been a coyote roaming the borders of certain towns. Look, six says coyote <gasps> too. Neighbor who neighbor six says there's coyote in their town. <gasps> there has just been a report of a loose brown and white pit bull running around. All right. So thank you so much for listening. Wait, I'm sorry. Why? I doubt it's the two turkeys in my backyard right now, but those are the only wild animals I've seen. What the hell's wrong with these people? Stop. All right, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Say it, say it, say it. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do don't say it. Check out our other podcast. We talk about it all. Seems now say to me it. A po- hit the button. Seems to me a coyote. Foxes God, couldn't compete. Us. Foxes couldn't compete against a dog. These people are serious. Wait, last night I heard the fox yelling a lot from a distance. Oh. Mm. Maybe the dog got them. All right, say it again. Hit. Wait, I'm hitting a button myself. 
Oh, I just saw a dead fox on the... Oh, this is bad. I gotta go. Hit the button. I gotta... I gotta stop reading that.